Hi there and uh, welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video we are going uh, to talk about uh, Arduino. So it's a short introduction to Arduino for marketers. So the definition I'm going to give is not going to be perfect but that's my uh, own definition. Uh, so what uh, Wikipedia is saying is the following. Arduino is an open source hardware and software company. Uh, here what is interesting to know out of this first definition is that the name Arduino is used either to represent the hardware part, which is, uh, you have one example here, which is the most famous card, which is the Arduino Uno. I will come back to this one uh, later on. And the software, uh, so here I mentioned the software company, but in, let's say, as the Arduino user, it represents the software that you would use in order to inject the code within uh, the Arduino card. So it's interesting to know that they use the same name for either the hardware and the software company. Um, and here's a separate project in user community that designed manufacturer single uh, board microcontroller. And what is uh, important is that the products are licensed under the GNU um, a lesser uh, GPL license. So it means that it's uh, free software and uh, open source uh, code. And uh, Arduino is used, in fact, in order to prototype, um, let's say, not only Internet of Things devices, but any kind of electronic um, prototype that you would like to do. So let's imagine that you would like to create a robot or you would like to create a an object which deal with uh, electronics, you have no idea where to start with. Arduino is giving you, in fact, all those um, possibilities thanks to a card. Uh, so the card is, is very general, not only this one, there are very many, many uh, different Arduino cards in order for you to realize the project that you have in mind. Uh, doesn't mean that actually this project is going to go mainstream, like you're going to sell copies of these products. But it helps you design the prototype and then you can start uh, a production once uh, you know that the prototype is uh, working properly. But definitely, that's not really something that you can resell afterward based on Arduino because uh, it's, uh, Arduino is nothing more than a card on which you'll plug uh, different wires on it. And, uh, and that's for prototyping, that's for your house, that's for uh, your personal project, but that's not uh, designed in order to go uh, live as a production uh, thing, but it will tell you if your product is going to be uh, good enough in order to go uh, in productive mode. So to say this is the entrance gate to uh, everything which deal with connectivity project and let's say hardware uh, project. So uh, now let's uh, look a little bit more about uh, how it looks like for real. Um, so, for example, here is a, an Arduino Uno uh, card that I purchased on, uh, on AliExpress. It's a copy of uh, original Arduino card. Uh, it's really a cheap one, this one. I will probably see you the, show you the prices. Uh, will make more sense. So if I just go back on my screen, uh, if you go on AliExpress, AliExpress, you will see that Arduino card doesn't cost much. So the one I was showing you is the Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno. Uh, as you can see, yeah, it costs about just uh, 3 euro, but you can even get cheaper one according to the type of Arduino card that you are looking for. So this one is an Arduino Uno card. I do not uh, recommend it uh, for marketers, mainly because this one, this Arduino card doesn't have any internet connection. Um, so of course, if your main uh, purpose is to uh, send data, collect data, send them to databases. Probably um, marketers will have a hard time with this one. Not that it's complicated, it's just that you don't have the connectivity, which is uh, the most popular for marketers. Uh, so this one is probably the best for people who would like to start with uh, Arduino, Okay, who would like to understand what is Arduino, to have uh, good workshops uh, with it, to have a lot of documentation. That's definitely the one which is the most uh, promoted and the most uh, advertised. Uh, how can you analyze this given card? Very simple, you have different ports. So this one is the serial port that we use in order to inject the data within uh, the card. As you can see, it's exactly the same entrance as the one for a printer. Uh, here is uh, the part for the electricity. If you like to give uh, autonomy to your um, Arduino card, uh, you can easily put a battery on this one 
something like this, you give uh, autonomy to your uh, Arduino. If not, uh, all the time the energy is brought by the USB cable, which is uh, brought uh, by here. Uh, and then, as you can see over here, you get some holes, and this is within those holes that you are going to plug uh, the different uh, wire that you will get on kits and other things. And uh, you get after the different uh, connector or let's say sensors that you can as well purchase either as a kit or either individually. So for example, this is a RFID reader. Um, so you can really do Internet of Things or just let's say basic connectivity with uh, with Arduino, and this is what is great. So there are different cards as I mentioned before. Uh, for example, this one is probably one of my uh, favorite. This one is the Node MCU ESP8266, and uh, basically what it uh, what this Arduino card uh, is made of is um, you have a Wi-Fi component, so you can connect this one to the internet and you can start. Uh, sending uh, data here and there. Um, this card is almost the same price as the one that I was showing you before. It just depends on uh, where you're going to uh, purchase it. And of course, uh, you don't have one card which is better than another. It's just that within the Arduino Uno, you will get uh, some, for example, as you can see, uh, more additional port. We said that it's more like uh, user-friendly, whereas on this one, as you can see, the ports are uh, more difficult to get actually those are pins which are below that you need to connect uh, directly to the wire so uh, and as well for example for this one uh, you don't have many uh, connectors that you can use in order to uh, grab data which is not the case with uh, the following card so uh, there's no card which is better than any other i can show you another example of a card uh, for example this one is a is an Arduino 6 box uh, card. Um, so this one, for example, integrate a component in order to uh, send uh, some signal, uh, which are not really um, internet signal, or at least which are very weak internet signal in order to send data in places which are uh, cut out of uh, any good internet connection. And as you can see, so as the uh, little card was showing you before here, the electricity, or at least the energy is brought through a mini USB port. So as you can see, there are a very different uh, card. This is something that you can once more check uh, directly on, uh, on AliExpress or on any other big marketplaces. You get different cards according to the different uh, specificities that those cards are. You can even go for a full kit with all the different components that you can plug to your Arduino card in order to have, uh, to have fun. You have uh, I uh, can get from Liga. Uh, yeah, for example, this one. You will see that the price gets a uh, little bit uh, higher when the board starts to be a bit uh, bigger because you can do more things with it, and uh, and so on and so forth. So that was the part uh, dealing with the card in itself. Uh, let's now see the software part. So the software part, uh, you just need to go on the Arduino website in order to download it, and once uh, you download it, you get the Arduino. Uh, IDE uh, UI. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to connect uh, my Arduino card. So uh, here is back my um, my Arduino card. I'm going to plug it uh, to my computer like this. Uh, we are going to see the software part. So as you can see, I take my cable. I I put it here. Okay, that's my cable. And then, uh, thanks to the USB cable, so this parts out, I'm going to put it uh, back on my computer if I still have um, USB port left. So I'm going to find one. Okay. And, and now I have one. Okay, great. So uh, let's now move back to my screen. So this is the software. Okay. Uh, so software Arduino, um, so first thing I need to do is just to inform my Arduino software what is the card that I'm going to play with. So it's going to be Arduino Uno because that's the Arduino Uno. So as you can see, many, many different cards. Uh, then I need to inform about uh, which, oops, sorry for that, which port uh, the Arduino card is connected on. So here is the uh, TTY USB 0, so it's fine. And now I can start to inject. Uh, the program. So when you start with Arduino, you do not know anything about it and uh, you don't really know what are the different uh, way to write your program. So you just go here in file and then you get something which is called examples. 
and as its name stands for it's giving you example of script code so you go from basics and we're going to take uh, the most uh, simple one and uh, we're going to go for um, probably um, yeah blink blink is probably the most famous one and here is the code so um, everything which is in gray is comment as you can see it has its own and logic so you can delete this part you can as well delete this part and just keep your attention on yeps on the non-comment thing and now start to make a little more sense okay so this is a program I'm just gonna inject it uh, within the card like this and if i now switch back on my uh, Arduino card, as you can see, my Arduino card is blinking. Why is that? Well, because the program that I injected, I asked to uh, make my Arduino card blink. So let's go back now on my on my program. As you can see in my program, I'm having two things. I'm having two functions. First one, which is called the VOID setup, is uh, nothing more than the function in which you are defining the let's say the initial state of your Arduino card. So in my case, I'm telling it, okay, um, I want the, let's say the, the connector or let's say the, the port, uh, which is named a pin uh, in, in Arduino, um, which is the LED built-in. So I'm asking it, okay, on the card, there is a, a LED which is uh, built on the Arduino card and I expect to send data out of this given port. This was this way the value output has been written here. So this is the initial state, which means that if I just have a program which is composed of just this given uh, function, what's gonna happen is nothing. It's just that, okay, I'm just gonna announce that I'm gonna use a port and this port's gonna show some data. If I paste this given part, so the program is like in all IT, it's coming from the top to the to the bottom, it's gonna go then within another function which is very famous in Arduino, which is what we call the loop function. So it means that it's gonna uh, enter within this function and then it's gonna stay within this function until uh, let's say the end of the life of your uh, Arduino. Okay, as far as the program is still on and still have energy, it's gonna keep staying within this loop and gonna execute those line of code on and on. And uh, here the first line is saying, okay, I want you to send the following information to the Arduino card. I want you for the port, which is the one of the LED, I want to let uh, the electricity pass. So that's why it's on high. Okay, high means I want the electricity to pass then i want you to stop for one second so in it uh, it's always in milliseconds so that's why here it's uh, 1000 milliseconds and then what i want is actually i want to put the uh, the lead on low and so i mean the electricity is not going to pass and then i'm going to wait uh, one second again and this is why in fact my arduino card is now blinking but if i do something like this Let's imagine that I'm going to change this one. I'm going to put it on the five. What's going to happen is that it's going to stay. Um, maybe yeah, it's going to stay for. Uh, going to probably make more sense if I do something, something like this. Like I let it on for uh, like uh, five seconds, and then I will ask it to pause for one second. It's going to be probably more visible for us. So I'm going to save this script that I just uh, modified and I'm going to upload it. And now what we are going to experience if I move back on the card is as you can see the LED is on for five seconds and then passing one second without uh, electricity and then making it back and so on and so forth. So that's typically what I wanted to show you for this first uh, let's say introduction to uh, Arduino is that there is a program and this uh, given program you can inject it within your Arduino card in order to ask your card to do uh, what you expect. So it's uh, mainly in Arduino about making uh, the electricity passing in the different ports and then thanks to those different ports and according to the components that you added uh, to those ports then you're going to get some, some data, some value 
uh, which are so in this case here the, the value are not that uh, interesting to analyze because it's just high and low but uh, you can actually just put a temperature sensor and as a result you will grab the temperature and then you can start to play with this uh, temperature because then you can send it uh, by another uh, component for example in, in bluetooth or in wi-fi or whatever and you can like this in fact connect uh, full houses full buildings uh, your desk or whatever because you are going to communicate those data from one device to another one um, so that was it uh, for the introduction of uh, of Arduino. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we're gonna produce many other video in order to provide you a, a complete course about the Internet of Things and let's say connection in general. Thanks for watching.